cores contain air bubbles, some of which are almost a million years old. By examining the composition of the bubbles, scientists have learned how our planet has changed. One gas in particular tells us a lot about past climate, carbon dioxide, or CO2. In the atmosphere, CO2 absorbs heat radiated from the Earth that would otherwise escape into space, acting like a blanket trapping heat underneath it. The more CO2 in the atmosphere, the bigger the blanket and the warmer the Earth. By measuring the CO2 sealed in air bubbles, we have charted its levels over hundreds of thousands of years. The level of CO2 tracks quite closely with the temperature. They are both low during ice ages and high during the warm period. For millions of years, the CO2 in the atmosphere varied within a consistent range, sometimes higher, sometimes lower. But since the Industrial Revolution, humans have been digging up fossil fuels and burning them, which releases CO2 in the atmosphere in unprecedented quantities. The more fossil fuels we burn, the greater the increase in CO2. The ice record shows that over the past 60 years, atmospheric CO2 has increased at a rate of 100 times faster than previous natural increases. Gases aren't the only things preserved in the ice. Particles of dust and ash get trapped too. When a volcano erupts, it spews ash into the atmosphere, depositing some of the Arctic. Lead particles are also present in the ice. They became more common about 2,000 years ago, when the Roman Empire began mining lead from coal and water pipes. More recently, the rise of cars using leaded gasoline caused an even higher surge in their warm lead. By the 1970s, pollution was so bad in cities, it was hard for people to breathe. United States and much of Europe banned lead and gasoline, and the evidence of how effective that action was is recorded in the ice. As lead emissions suddenly dropped, so too did the level of lead in the ice. So we know that increasing levels of CO2 in the atmosphere is what is causing the climate to change. And we know that burning fossil fuels is one of the human behaviors that have caused this unprecedented rise. We even have evidence that when we work together, we can change the global environment, like when we removed lead from gasoline and therefore the atmosphere. So, we got this. We can make sure the next layer of ice shows the results of our efforts. The only question is, what action will you take next?